Hello friends, in this video we are going to see hydraulic jump or standing wave. So hydraulic jump is also known as standing wave. Hydraulic jump is also known as standing wave. So we are going to see a case that is case flow of water over a dam. Flow of water over a dam. So you can see this diagram here dam is present here and this is the free surface of water. So this symbol represents the free surface of water. So free surface means atmospheric pressure is acting. This is section 1 and section 2 and this is the hydraulic jump from 1 to 2 and this again represents the free surface of water. Free surface of water. Okay. So this is a figure representing the hydraulic jump. So what you can see in the figure the depth of water at section 1 1 is small you can see the depth of water at section 1 1 is small depth of water also known as depth of flow but it increases towards the downstream rapidly very very important word but it increases towards downstream downstream is if you are going in this direction 1 to 2 correct so 2 is your downstream or 1 is your upstream so but it increases towards downstream rapidly over a short length of the channel over a short length of the channel this is because at section 1 1 the flow is shooting flow shooting flow that is your prod number fr greater than 1 shooting flow is fr greater than 1 as the depth of water at section 1 1 is less than the critical depth fr greater than 1 look at this line point once again this is because the section 1 1 the flow is a shooting flow as the depth of water section 1 1 is less when the depth of water at section 1 1 is less then velocity will be more and velocity is more your fraud number will be more because fraud number is a function of velocity so fr is equal to v by root under of gd right or g into d so when the cross section area is less your velocity will be more and velocity is more your fraud number will also increase and so it is critical depth fr greater than 1 so you can see here free surface of water and this is the hydraulic jump now we are going to see in the next case next slide uh, something more about the hydraulic jump or standing wave why the jump is taking place the reason is here shooting flow is an unstable flow shooting flow is an unstable type of flow and does not continue on the downstream side then this shooting flow will convert itself into a streaming flow then this shooting flow will convert itself into a streaming flow which is also known as tranquil flow and hence the depth of water will increase so in order to get the stability what will happen the depth of water will increase this sudden increase of depth of water is called hydraulic jump this sudden increase of depth of water is called hydraulic jump or also known as standing wave okay so because of the instability in the flow it will try to gain the depth of flow the depth of flow will increase within a short length and that's why it is called as hydraulic jump there will be sudden increase in depth of water in order to get the stability correct so that is the reason hydraulic jump phenomena takes place now look at this point here hydraulic jump defined as the rise of water level another definition hydraulic jump defined as the rise of water level which takes place due to transformation of unstable shooting flow that is supercritical to the stable streaming flow subcritical correct so hydraulic jump can also be defined as the Sudden rise in the level of water which takes place due to transformation of unstable shooting flow, supercritical flow to the stable streaming flow that is subcritical flow. What happens when hydraulic jump takes place? When hydraulic jump takes place, a loss of energy occurs. When hydraulic jump takes place, a loss of energy occurs due to formation of eddies and turbulence. Correct. So whenever there is a hydraulic jump, there will be loss of energy. It frequently occurs in a canal flow below a regulating slice at the toe of the spillway. So these are the places where you can see the hydraulic jump at the toe of the spillway 
at downstream of narrow channel or at the place where a steep channel slope suddenly turns flat a steep channel slope suddenly turning into flat surface that is called as the reason where you can see the hydraulic jump now we are going to see the applications of hydraulic jump what are the different applications of hydraulic jump so hydraulic jump has many practical application it is used to look at the number one point used to dissipate the high kinetic energy of water near the toe high kinetic energy of the water near the toe of the spillway and to protect the bed and banks of river near a hydraulic structure otherwise there are chances that the structure will get damaged so to dissipate the energy to reduce the energy of water that is kinetic energy near the top the spillway and to protect the bed and banks of river near a hydraulic structure second one to raise water level for irrigation to raise water level to raise water level for irrigation and other distribution works third one to increase the discharge of fluids discharge is your q that is area and velocity to increase the discharge of the fluids by holding back tail water fourth one is to mix of chemicals or for mixing chemicals in water purification plant so why it is used for mixing because you know when hydraulic jump takes place there will be it is in turbulence and you know when there is a turbulence mixing is very good the intensity of mixing will be very good when you are having turbulence fifth one is to remove air pockets from water supply lines and prevent air locks this can also be done with the help of hydraulic jump the air pockets can be removed and it can prevent locking of the air air locks to aerate to aerate the stream polluted by biodegradable materials to aerate the stream polluted by biodegradable materials so some of the streams which get polluted by the biodegradable materials that can also be aerate using the hydraulic jump okay now we are going to see the applications sorry now we are going to see the expressions application is over now expressions of uh, hydraulic jump for solving the numerical expression for hydraulic jump look at this so following assumptions are made before deriving the expression for hydraulic jump following assumptions important assumptions actually are made before deriving the expression for depth of hydraulic jump so it, look at this diagram before going into the points actually so this is the flow direction left to right then this section 1 1 and this is section 2 2 so flow is in this direction so it is called as head and this is called as tail at 1 1 the depth of water is your d1 and at 2 2 section the depth of water is d2 after taking the hydraulic jump and p1 and p2 are the hydrostatic pressure acting on the section 1 1 and section 2 2 okay now look at this important assumptions flow is uniform and pressure distribution is due to hydrostatic force before and after the jump so flow is uniform so we already know what is uniform flow and non uniform flow and pressure distribution is due to hydrostatic force before and after the jump hydrostatic force means force equal to pressure into area correct so what is pressure rho g h so depending upon the height or depth of water you can calculate the hydrostatic force second one is losses due to friction on the surface of the bed of channel are negligible why because it is very very small friction losses are small and can be negligible third point is the slope of the bed of channel is small so that the component of the weight of the fluid in the direction of flow is negligibly small correct so what i can say you about this so, so this is the let us say a small slope is given to this channel bottom and uh, very small and this is the line actually so let me draw so this is the reference line or datum line and suppose this is the body i am taking here this is the body so what is the direction of weight so direction of weight is always vertically downward 
direction of weight is always vertically downward. So let us take weight is here. So W equal to mg in the downward direction, right? And we have another force like this. Yes. So this is one force. I am resolving this force, the weight component. I am resolving the weight component so that you can understand the assumption 3. So, look at the angle. I will use the different color so that you can understand. This angle and this angle. Right. So, if this angle is theta, right, this angle is theta. Theta is very, very small, you can see. So, this angle will also will be your theta. Okay. So, this is W, W cos theta. And this will be W sin theta. Correct. If theta is very, very small, you know, let us say sin 0. What is the value of sin 0? Zero? 0 only. So, the weight component in the direction of flow is very, very small. It will be sin 2, sin 5. If you take very, very small value of theta, theta is 0, suppose, sin 0 is 0. So, you are not getting any force in this direction. It will be almost equal to 0. That is what it is written here. The slope of the bed of channel is small. So, the component of the weight of the fluid in the direction of flow, this is the direction of flow, is negligibly small. Correct? You got this point? Okay. Now, we are going to see the expressions after looking into the assumptions. Expressions, depth of hydraulic jump, very, very important. All these expressions are very important and we have questions in the examinations. Depth of hydraulic jump is given by d2 minus d1. So, we have seen d2 is the depth of water after hydraulic jump and d1 is the depth of water before hydraulic jump. Very important question. To find the tail water depth to form a hydraulic jump. So, d2 equal to minus d1 by 2 plus root under of d1 square of 4 plus 2 q square g d1. So, this formula is coming from the you know quadratic equation, right? Plus minus quadratic equations. So, d2 by d2 equal to minus d1 by 2 plus root under d1 square of 4 plus 2 q square gd1 unit will be your meter third one is loss of energy due to hydraulic jump is given by hl e1 minus e2 that is specific energy so d2 minus d1 whole cube by 4 d1 into d2 here also the unit will be meter specific energy per unit weight fourth one is depth of hydraulic jump depth of hydraulic jump in terms of upstream fraud number the fraud number is FR, upstream is FR1, is given by D2 equal to D1 by 2, root under of 1 plus 8 FR square. So, here you can write upstream fraud number, so FR1, FR1 whole square minus 1. I want to tell you, same equation you can also write for D2, that it will be replaced by D1 and D2. So, if you want to find D1, you can write like this, D2 by 2, root under of 1 plus 8 fr2 here fr2 square minus 1 don't change here 1 to 2 okay this will be 1 only so both equations are valid for finding the depth of hydraulic jump d1 and d2 look at the last note length of hydraulic jump for a rectangular channel is equal to 5 to 7 times the height or depth of hydraulic jump length of hydraulic jump for a rectangular channel is equal to 5 to 7 times the depth of hydraulic jump. Okay. Thank you.